Hi everyone, it's Natasha Trupp here. I'm going to show you how I've used some inked up wood grain impression plates for the anniversary tradition of wood. So we're going to start with the impression plate part of this. So I've started here with the wood grain impression plate and a piece of dark chocolate cardstock. So I'm going to go grab my dark chocolate ink and with this technique I suggest swiping the ink with the general direction of the design. So it's a vertical design, so that's why I'm sticking to the vertical here. If you end up choosing a different sort of impression plate that's more uniform in design, I would suggest just dabbing at it gently instead of the swiping. Now you may have noticed that I got a little bit of ink in some of the impressions, so I don't really want that in there, so I'm just using a Q-tip to kind of dissipate the ink. And there was a few spots I missed there, so I'm just going to add up a little more ink and do one final run through with the Q-tip. So now we're ready to run this through the machine. So I'm going to place my dark chocolate cardstock on top. Next, grab some, just some scrap paper, just copy, copy weight. Fold that in there. So I'm using the cuddle bug. So the sandwich I'm using is an A plate followed by a B plate, which you'll see shortly. And then next is my bit of cardstock with the impression plate and my silicone pad. So I'm using the copy paper just to make sure I don't get ink transfer to the silicone pad. And then I'm going to layer that with another B plate. I like to keep a spare set of the B plates around uh, and not used for cutting just so that I have some nice flat plates for this kind of technique. If you're using some other sort of die cut machine, uh, you'll just want to kind of play around with your sandwiches, see if you need a shim or not, and whatnot. So there it is, uh, my inked up cardstock. You can see the ink really accentuates the natural impressions of the design. So before I get on to the rest of the card, I just want to show you some other examples. So here's vintage cream on craft. And then I've done tone on tone, so classic craft on craft. Um, here is some vintage cream on cocoa bean. And then I've also done island indigo on island indigo cardstock. And I want to try an ombre effect. So I did scarlet jewel, Americana, and then terracotta tile. So I've got my three leaf prints die cut from rustic cream cardstock ready to go. I'm going to start with the elm leaf. So first up, I'm going to ink it with the harvest gold. And then I'm just going to shade the edge with some honey nut. And then I'm going to bring the harvest gold back over the entire image just to make sure it's all blended really smoothly. To finish it off, I'm going to do the line art in some dark chocolate ink. Next up is the maple leaf. So I'm going to use Americana ink and terracotta tile. For this one I'm actually going to start with a darker ink. So I'm going to ink up that bottom edge with the terracotta tile and then go over the whole image with the Americana and then back over just that bottom corner with the terracotta tile just to make sure I haven't lost the shaded edge. And then I'm just going to go over again the line art with the dark chocolate ink. So for ink blending, don't be afraid that it's going to damage your ink pads. I've been doing this for years and I've never damaged my ink pads. Um, if you do have any ink transfer, especially to the lighter ink pads, just make sure you stamp it directly onto some scratch paper just to get off any of the darker ink. Uh, for the oak leaf, I'm actually starting here with honey nut and then I want a bit of green. So I'm doing one edge with prairie grass and then I'm going to do the other side with a little bit of cocoa bean and then again, just to make sure I have a smooth transition between all the colors, I'm just going over the whole thing with Honey Nut. And to finish that off, once again, some dark chocolate with the line image. So I've also got my sentiment here ready to go from the wet paint dye collection. I've cut out three layers of th the word thanks from Americana, just glued those together. So we're ready to assemble the rest of this card. So I've got my scored craft card base, my inked up uh, background, 
Well, inked up and impressed background. So just adhere that on there. And for the sentiment strip, I've just got a narrow item here, uh, also from the wet paint stamp set. It says for everything that's stamped in dark chocolate on some rustic cream cardstock. And then I'm ready to attach my die cut thanks. For this, I'm just using some multi adhesive. Uh, I find uh, adding it in a little dots really helps to ensure that once you attach the the item to the card, it doesn't spread out a lot. And then next up, we'll add the first of the leaves, the oak leaf, just kind of off center, and then the maple leaf and the elm leaf. So those are all just attached with foam tape. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and it's, you found some inspiration. I can't wait to see what you create with this technique.